This is a capacitive stylus pen that looks like an Adenit Jot Pro brand. The price is starting from 3 US dollars. If you want to buy it, just type in Google, Fine Point Round Thin Tip Capacitive Stylus Pen. Just for comparison, the original Adenit Jot Pro price is starting from 30 US dollars. It is 10 times more expensive. The size is almost same as ordinary pen, just a little bit heavy because it made by steel. The tip of this stylus is using transparent disc that serves as a touch point with the screen. This disc can change angle freely. This will make suitable either for right hand and also left hand user. We can remove the disc tip. If the tip is removed, the stylus cannot function at all. It also won't work if we only use the disc. So, this stylus only can work if the disc tip is fitted with the pen. This capacitive stylus does not use batteries, and for this model, it only serves as a stylus. It doesn't have other functions such as to write in plain paper. The backside only serve to put the cap so we won't lose it. Let's test this stylus. As we can see, it shows quite good result. Although we can see a little bit delay in response. Let's try to make lines. Now let's try handwriting. First let's use our finger. Now, let's try to use stylus. As we can see, we can write smaller and more precise if we use stylus. When it comes to responsive and sensitivity, it is still more convenient to use your fingers. In addition, if the screen a little dirty or a lot of oil, it will make the stylus less responsive. So, we must often clean the screen. The only advantage of this disc tip stylus is because the tip is small, we can see the line on the screen clearly. Therefore, we can draw in more precise and detail. Let's try to draw a building. We will face difficulty to draw small parts, for example to draw the windows. Using finger, we can only draw three columns of windows. Now let's try to draw it using stylus. As we can see, we can draw smaller windows and it fit up to four windows columns. Now let's compare it with stylus that using fiber tip like this. The quality of this stylus is similar to stylus that using rubber tip. Let's do a test. As we can see, this model is not so good in quality. Besides that, the tip size is also quite big and almost no different than the size of our fingertip. Now we try to use disc tip stylus. Although this stylus is better in quality than the fiber tip model, however, it is still not so comfortable to use it to write text. The conclusion is, if you love to draw in your devices, then you may consider to buy this disc tip stylus. When compared to using the finger, then drawing using this stylus will be more accurate and precise because we can clearly see our drawing. For example, Let's draw a face. It will be difficult to draw the eyes if the image is too small. Especially if you have big fingers. If you use stylus, it will be much better. Because the disc is transparent, we can easy to view the contact point. However, before you buy it, I need to remind you at the beginning that this stylus is not as responsive as fingers. Or in other words, it's still more sensitive and responsive if you use fingers. Therefore, if you had no problem drawing with fingertips, then you don't need to buy this stylus or you will be disappointed. However, if you want to draw more detail, then you can consider to buy it. Or if money is not a problem for you, then it's better if you buy genuine Adenit Jot Pro that has better quality. Or maybe you can buy Samsung Galaxy Note that already come with active stylus. Just for your info, 
the first generation of Samsung Galaxy Note equipped with much more sensitive and responsive stylus compared to stylus that you saw in this video. So, you can expect that the next generation of Galaxy Note will be even better. Thanks for watching, subscribe our channel for more updates.